Madness. We told you about this challenge a couple weeks ago. Warren Buffett's NCAA bracket challenge has a winner. Yeah, big, wow. big money. West Virginia factory worker won $100,000 for correctly picking the first 29 games on the basketball tournament's first round. That had to be a little bit of luck, right? There, I mean, there were so many upsets. Uh, the Berkshire Hathaway employee also picked the winners of the 31st and 32nd games correctly. Now, if he had correctly picked the next round, he would have pocketed one million bucks with a perfect wow. first round bracket. I'd take the hundred grand, though. Pretty yeah, fun, right? not too shabby. And I think Warren Buffett has enough money to uh, spread the wealth, which he does. I mean, he's a very charitable it's a guy. It's a little more exciting, yeah, right? Yeah. All right, so maybe your bracket isn't doing as well. Maybe you could use the help of some babies in ba Wisconsin. Babies? What? What? Why? What are they? What yep. are they doing? Air Jordan fans, Marcus and his friends calmly sat around their toddler table and made their picks. <laughs> That looks like serious business, doesn't that, it? That's the real deal. You should put your son in that <laughs> class there. How cute. Uh, but it's funny because nine of the kids have a team in the Final Four. See, that's, uh, that's what you do. Wow. It's all about luck. Marcus uh, has North Carolina taking it all. You know, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here, not in the men's bracket, but women's. I'm, I'm going to be dangerous and guess y UConn for the win, the championship this year. You think? I think they're waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> I do. All right. Uh, so moving on. Now, George Clooney has always been a ladies' man. We know that. He's even, even though he's married, he still has that uh, way about him, right? right? Or, or as our producer said, je ne sais quoi. I are, saw that, are, but I didn't. Are you a French it. major? Are you <laughs> no. a, a, anybody here French? Je ne sais quoi. All right. He recently gave an 87-year-old woman the surprise of her life when hey. he showed up at her nursing home with birthday flowers. Wow, that is quite a surprise. I don't think I would want to be surprised like that at that's 87. That's a major surprise. That, that's, uh, that, couldn't, that could have a bad ending. But the staff uh, wrote to Clooney asking him to take a little visit, and they were surprised that he actually showed and up, he obviously. Did it. Yeah, uh, and he stayed and chatted for a little bit and chatted with the, bath uh, the birthday girl. And him and his wife actually own a home near the facility, so they just... Stopped on by. Is is there a celebrity that you would like to have visit you or surprise you when you're 87 or today? I do like Matthew McConaughey a little bit, but the story mm -hmm. reminded me of something that happened yesterday. What, what's that? When you helped a little lady and her dog cross the street. I, yeah. I put the I put it up on Facebook yesterday. This there picture, it is. and it got such a response. People were so proud of you, oh, right? Thank you. you really did a good thing. Parents raised me well, I guess, or or you told me to go. Go help that lady. <laughs> what are you doing, Ryan? Get over there. No, no, that was on your own conscience. I just didn't want to make her husband jealous. She said she was walking home to her hubby, so hopefully he doesn't see this. You that know was what a I'm nice saying? thing you did Ooh, there. Thanks. All right, and another celebrity making some news another today. Another celebrity? I'm, I'm not. But... I think we were talking about George Clooney. Oh, right. Okay, right. I, I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> okay. Sure Only that. Ellen DeGeneres could turn a trip to the emergency room into a funny story. The talk show host told her audience Tuesday that she dislocated her finger after she tripped and fell. Now, DeGeneres said it happened after a dinner party and two glasses in when her dogs came to meet her and she tripped and fell on the door. Uh -oh. Whoa! Oh, hey. Whoa, that is a lot. That's a Do you think it was only two glasses of no, wine? No, three. Two, do what? She said she was two glasses two. in. That's it. I don't know. I don't <laughs> Is she know. losing it's... her stability at two I glasses? Maybe, uh, anyway. maybe she rounded down. Maybe she was going for three <laughs> or four there. I don't Looks know. painful, but I'm glad she's okay. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I mean, the good news is that there is a place at, at Yale now. Two gentlemen at Yale, they, they came up with this new idea for getting rid of of the hangover, which she could possibly use. Tell us, right? You know what I'm saying? So uh, two students, according to the New Haven Register, have developed a formula. It's called Sun Up. So the pill has 15 ingredients, including vitamins and uh, green tea extract. And you take it an hour before uh, enjoying your cold, refreshing adult beverages, and you pour it in with a little bit of water. I, I've heard of things like and this they before. Never work. They don't. Ha it sounds like you have some experience. I mean, I've tried. You care to share? In my, in my youth, I think I've tried mm -hmm. a thing or two. Um, sleep and McDonald's. It's the only thing that, that helps. That... People take Pedialyte if they're really Pedialyte. hungover. It's like extra um, electrolytes. Is it? Huh. Allegedly. I d allegedly. <laughs> I think that we should do a segment on this. You know what I'm saying? Go Hangover to Yale. Cures? No, go to Yale and say, hey guys, let's test out your pills. And we test it out here on the show. I'd like to see if it yeah. works. We, we'd probably lose our license for the show, but hey. <laughs> interesting uh, st stats there. All right, so kudos to Target this morning. They just released a new set of photos for their 2017 swimsuit campaign. Yeah, uh, they're not photoshopped at all. They are Photoshop free, no editing. There are four models in the campaign, and they represent uh, all different types of body types. 
And this is great because one of our friends, our friend Cami Crawford, who's done style so many times, Sarah, and uh, she had her show on BET. She came in with her cast. Yeah. She is doing great things, and uh, she looks fantastic. Yeah, she, she actually texted us this morning uh, with this quote about the photo. She says, empowering women has always been my goal, and uh, hopes that she can, you know, make women feel a little bit more confident with the campaign. Bathing suit season is always intimidating. Yeah, well, kudos to her, you know? She's doing it all. Rising star. <laughs> we, we need to find out who her agent is and, uh, right? you know, ride her coattails. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, lab lovers have plenty to bark about this morning. We're talking about Labrador Retrievers, ah, of okay, course. Okay. Uh, it's the most popular dog breed in the country and that's for the 26th year in a row. The American Kennel Club says labs are likely America's pick because they're so versatile. We had a lab growing up for 17 years. You did, 17. A yellow lab, wow. Willie. Oh. Willie. Willie. Willie the lab. We, we got him in Wilton, so we called Willie him Willie. Willie from Willie. Wilton. That's right. Ah. He was a great dog. Other dogs <laughs> that were on the list, uh, German Shepherds, they're very popular. Golden Retrievers, Bulldogs, Beagles, those are very common, you know. But your your dog, Sid, isn't like, Sid it's sort is, of a Sid uh, is a yeah. rescue dog, and we really don't know too much of her background. There she is. Hey, no. We did give her a doggy DNA test. I don't right. know. I know I've told this story before. Initially, we thought she was um, a lab mix of some sort and we thought she would want to run but she's German pointer and chow. Germ oh, we still wow. we still like her though. Well, well, we thought she was Australian better. Shepherd and Lab. That's what the the paperwork said to us. So so not quite the same thing. And and she <laughs> no. sheds quite a bit, right? Oh my gosh, she sheds everywhere. I'm vacuuming constantly. But you got to love her. She's fantastic. She's so yeah. good with the baby too. Yeah. Maybe I, you'll have a dog one day. You're going to stick to cats. I, I, well, no. I, I, I have a friend. <laughs> Gil's yelling, cats, cats. I, I, I love my cat hunter. What is going on here? No, that's, that's my Seriously? friend Rue. That's my favorite dog, Rue. It's a little shih tzu, and I play with it every day. And it's like a little cute dog. But it has like a licking thing where it just it, it has like a shih licking thing. Shih tzus do that. My mother yeah? um, has a shih tzu also. It, is that a shih tzu thing? They, they, they lick. lick everything. They're lickers, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Um, how old is that shih tzu? I, I, I didn't know. I think, I don't know, you know. Old? Yeah, or, no, no, no. It's like two or three. Oh, ours is going on 16 years. 16 year old Shih Tzu. <laughs> shih Tzu is Oreo, Oreo the Shih Tzu. Oreo the Shih Tzu is, is still licking quite a bit, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Still, still, still a running liquor. around, though. Okay. All right, so how about a promposal here in Kansas? It's going viral for all the right reasons. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, that, that excited girl is 15 year old. Carly Whitman, who has Down syndrome. Now, this video is of her older brother's best friend asking her to his senior prom. She accepted, uh, despite the way that he asked. Uh, and her date says that choosing Carly was a no-brainer because he really wants to make prom special for her. She's brought nothing but joy to my life. Any, anyone who's ever around her, just they, she makes them laugh. And she always has a smile on her face. And she's just, she's amazing. I love her, dude. I love you too. How cute. Yeah, uh, Shane says he used Doritos t as part of the promposal there. For seven years, <laughs> he's seen Carly eating those every day. Uh, so, photos of the promposal posted on Twitter have gotten nearly half a million likes. How nice is that, huh? Very heartwarming story. <laughs> Bless you. Ooh, excuse me, I thought I'd hey. bite that one off. Hey, now. Hey, uh, speaking, speaking of prom, it's all good. Coming up here, March 30th, we have a big prom extravaganza here. Yeah, we're going to have dresses. We're going to have tux. Our friend Jen Presserata is throwing a, kind of a masquerade ball. And nice. it's, uh, we're going back to high school. And, and I hear back in the day, you were the prom queen. Is that true? Oh, that the, might have happened. But might, that was just yeah. years ago. Just, yeah. You were the homecoming king. Yeah, but it's not the same thing. We don't have a homecoming show. We only have a we prom could. show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right.